in Asia, SoftBank, KDDI, SKT, KT, Smartone, M1, and Singtel. In Australia, Telstra, Optus, Virgin Mobile. In Europe, Deutsche Telekom, and the brand new Everything Everywhere that's just launched their EE, LTE network in the UK. Now in Europe, there's something else really interesting going on. There's a lot of adoption of this new dual carrier HSDPA network. So here's a list of all the carriers we're working on that with, with us as well. Just great coverage, the dual carrier network. So ultra-fast wireless doesn't just stop with cellular. We've also built in higher performing Wi-Fi as well. With iPhone 5, we have 802.11a joining B, G, and N. 802.11n is now 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and that's dual channel 5 gigahertz for much greater performance. So you can get a theoretical maximum performance of 100 megabits per second of bandwidth on 802.11. So that's ultra-fast wireless. Now, we're going to keep going with this, and what you're going to hear as I go through each step, we've updated every aspect of iPhone 5. Everything has been enhanced, re-engineered, redesigned over iPhone 4S. So what's next? System performance, a brand new chip, the Apple A6 chip. Compared to the A5, it's two times faster at CPU, two times faster at graphics. Our expertise in chip design is really showing itself here. Because not only is it a huge jump forward in performance, it's also 22% smaller, making it more space and energy efficient. The team has done a remarkable job. You're going to see that across many of the things you do, whether you're launching apps like Pages, saving images from your photo app, loading up the music app with songs to play, viewing attachments and keynotes, really seeing basically 2x performance across the board. And developers are going to love what they can do with this new A6 chip, the performance they get for their CPU and graphic intense applications. So we thought, let's, let's get a developer to get their hands on this A6 chip and the new iPhone 5 and show you what can be done with state-of-the-art performance and graphics. So I'm really excited to invite out Rob Murray, executive producer at EA Studios, to show you some amazing work they're doing on the new A5, A5, A6 chip on the iPhone 5. Rob? <laughs> Welcome. Thanks, Phil. Hi, everyone. Now, we're known for creating the ultimate racing experience on iOS. Well, the new iPhone lets us take this to a whole new level. So today, I'm going to show you Real Racing 3 for the first time. And you're going to see a Porsche GT3 racing on the legendary raceway Laguna Seca. Now, we've got Vince up here to help. Hi, Vince. Let's get it started. Look at the graphics here. Now, these graphics, they've been built to full console quality. And they're running on the powerful new iPhone. I mean, all this is running in the palm of your hands.